The Specialty Equipment Market Association SEMA show is among the biggest and best-known auto events in the world. Toyota is back with a theme. Track or trail, your thrill awaits. The 19 vehicles on display at Toyota's Booth Central Hall, booth number 22200, at the Las Vegas Convention Center, represent Toyota's largest commitment to SEMA to date and include several one-off specialty builds Associated Accessories Program AAP Accessorized Vehicles, the all-new Land Cruiser and all-new Tacoma, the new GR family of Special Edition Vehicles, and other production cars. And Toyota USA introduced their Tacoma X-Runner concept, reviving the sport truck idea from the early 2000s and placing it squarely in the spotlight of today's automotive industry. Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Addicts. In the recent summer 2023, Toyota just unveiled a Tacoma X-Runner concept. And before we go any further, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic updates on your favorite cars. Following the introduction of the Tacoma, we felt it was important to demonstrate the wide range of options available with the truck's platform. Because of the TNGAF platform, we were able to rapidly develop this cool technology at a fraction of the cost and time it would have taken using other methods. To work on a project like this is exactly why I got into the auto industry, says Sheldon Brown, head engineer at Toyota Motor North America. Based on the 2024 Toyota Tacoma, this Hot Wheels-esque concept automobile hocks back to when two-wheel drive backies made for robot-to-robot -robot racing were a familiar sight in the States. This design isn't just meant to appeal to the sentimentality of old-school car nuts. It's also meant to demonstrate the breadth and depth of Toyota's TNGAF architecture. A modified 3.4-litre twin-turbocharged V6 is hidden behind the chiseled liquid bodywork, providing 421 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque to the double cab's rear wheels as seen via the bespoke side exit exhaust. The custom Tacoma also includes a solid axle from a Toyota Tundra and an electronic locking differential. The Speedway Blue Tacoma's frame has been reworked by Toyota to accommodate a wider track by 3 inches, and the truck's frame strength has also been increased. It's interesting that the idea rests on a Tundra air suspension, so that the front upper and lower control arms could accept the Tundra parts. Toyota elongated them. The lower and upper rear control arms were lengthened to couple with the rear axle housing, same as their front counterparts were. The Tacoma concept rides on a set of 21-inch carbon fiber wheels shod with 285, 45R21 Michelin tires, as well as an air suspension system and firmer coil springs. As the designer of the new X-Runner concept put it, TRD is all about performance, all about speed. According to Mike Tripp, Group Vice President of Toyota's Marketing. It shows the range of the platform and what we could do if we took the Tacoma beyond off-road and everyday capabilities, slammed it, and gave it a little street cred. Two new, eye-catching red seats with the X-Runner logo on the backs are installed in the interior. The gear shift levers are paddles mounted on the dashboard. From 2005 until 2014, consumers could pick up a street-ready version of Toyota's Tacoma pickup. It had a sporty body kit with a hood scoop, reduced suspension, and other modifications. The 4.0-litre V6 made 236 horsepower and linked up to a six-speed manual driving the rear wheels, with a standard limited slip differential. TRD even offered a supercharger available as a dealer add-on for buyers willing to raise the engine output to 300 horsepower. Likewise, in order to demonstrate the revolutionary comfort improvements brought forth by the ISO Dynamic Performance seat seen in the 2024 Tacoma TRD Pro, Toyota has set up a simulator at SEMA. The ISO Dynamic Performance seats were introduced for the first time on the Tacoma TRD Pro by the automaker earlier this year. Depending on the user's preferences and body type, the two air over oil shock absorbers can be adjusted to control the vertical and lateral movement of the seat. To give SEMA attendees their first taste of these seats in action without having to go off-roading themselves, Toyota Connected North America TCNA, has mounted one of them to a six-degree-of-freedom simulator and gaming experience. 
Running through this cutting-edge simulator is like taking a high-speed spin on an off-road course, and it's been fine-tuned to reflect data gleaned from Toyota's proving grounds in Arizona, where the seats were put through their paces in real life. With the use of cutting-edge video game technologies, our goal was to demonstrate the performance capabilities our R&D engineers built into the ISO-Dynamic Performance Seat, explained Eric Bush, TCNA's design and innovation lead. As the developers put it, gamifying the experience allows us to show how the ISO-Dynamic Performance Seat performs on a simulated off-road course in a way that is fun and educational for those wanting to understand its benefits. If potential buyers of the 2024 Tacoma can't sit in the seats in person, the simulator will be a great alternative, according to Alan Dan Kalifson, technical executive producer at TCNA. In the spring of 2024, Toyota will release the Tacoma TRD Pro. Whether or not the seats will be an optional extra with a high price tag remains to be seen. Also, Toyota's concept perfectly captures the spirit of SEMA, which is all about making a statement. The FJ Bruiser, a high-riding FJ45 design powered by a V8 engine, was recently unveiled by the manufacturer. The inspiration for this idea comes from the FJ45 pickup truck from 1966, as suggested by the name. There are several major changes this time around. Toyota's Motorsports Garage welded a modern tube frame and roll cage to a 1960s FJ45 body, implying that they felt the original vehicle wasn't ragged enough. The chassis is now suspended using a full trailing arm suspension equipped with Fox shocks and iBark springs. The entire rig is supported by a set of method double standard 20 by 10 inch beadlock wheels and 42 by 14.5 inch by 20 inch BF Goodrich Crawler TAKX tires, giving it massive traction in the dirt. The NASCAR Cup Cost 358 cubic inch V8 has been tuned to produce 725 horsepower. Rancho Drivetrain Engineering fabricated the automated gearbox with three gears that sends engine output to the wheels. Magnaflow designed a bespoke exhaust system to control the emissions. The FJ Bruiser is similar to the FJ45 in that it has a solid axle, but it has been upgraded with new front and rear differentials and a transfer case that offers four two-wheel drive speeds and four four-wheel drive speeds. Toyota claims that the Bruiser's gear ratios allow it to go from 0 to 165 miles per hour in the highest gear at 7,000 RPM and from Bruiser to crawl at 12 miles per hour. In the event that the horsepower outmaneuvers the large tires, Toyota attached a conveyor belt complete with treading underneath the vehicle. Tank mode, which can be activated from within the vehicle like a Mad Max style treadmill is intended for those annoying situations in which the vehicle is being supported by the gas tank rather than the tires. Likewise, when preparing for SEMA 2023, Toyota paid special attention to updating the iconic 1967 FJ45 Land Cruiser wagon from the Rod Millen Group. The Retro Cruiser, which debuted in 1999 after a what-if discussion between Toyota Motor Sales Top Brass and racing great Rod Millen, is a throwback to the Land Cruiser's storied past while showcasing cutting-edge engineering. The Retro Cruiser, at 24 years old, mixes the tough exterior of the 1967 FJ with the luxury of the 100 series, which marked Toyota's greatest comfort automobile in the early 2000s. Both the frame and the body have to be redesigned and lengthened by Rod Millen Group and Toyota to reach this goal. In order to make the ride more bearable over uneven ground, they also included a suspension system. Powering the Retro Cruiser is the 4.7-litre V8 found in the 100 Series Land Cruiser, which provides ample protection even on rough roads. This mill produces 230 horsepower of output to the wheels through a 4-speed automated transmission, transfer case, and locking differentials. With all that being said, what do you think of the Tacoma X Runner concept? Share your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.